يا سجرة الدار اكبري فينا ويا حلو مهما صار حني علينا مرجوحة عغصنك قدامك حلوة It's a great honor to have you all here to witness the planting of this olive tree and this ash tree as a symbol of the linkage between the people of Ireland and the people of Palestine and especially the people of this area here, Poppin Tree, through uh, the fact that the Lord Mayor of Dublin is here for the planting. It is indeed significant that uh, these trees are planted here at this time in Ireland in recognition of our friendship with the people of Palestine. It's taken us a long time to have the trees finally planted here in Dublin. They were uh, refugee trees for a while, seeking a proper homeland. And we thank the uh, people of Poppin Tree for giving this space in beautiful Poppin Tree Park for the olive tree and the ash tree. For Kate Saranag and Gahar Arsa Shah, Kieran Fearfall drove Willigan Shahan Yuk and Park Poppin Tree, Gahaira and Philip, Palestina, Grafiv, Saida. As first citizen of this great city, um, I welcome you all here to Poppin Tree Park. It is an honour and a privilege to be here for the planting of these two trees. The hearts of the people of Dublin and of Ireland go out to the people of Palestine for the oppression they have undergone for decades. These trees were presented to us last summer on the first anniversary of the terrible bombardment of Gaza that left so many innocent dead, including 551 children. They were presented by Dr. Mads Gilbert, uh, a hero of mine, surgeon of Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza. During his address in the Mansion House, he stressed the importance of boycott against Israel produce as a strategy of international peaceful mass action. Lord Mayor, dear Palestinian Ambassador, members of the Palestinian community and friends in Ireland, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, as most of you know, this year Palestinians, and in this month, Palestinians are marking 68 years of Al-Nakba, the word we use, catastrophe, for what happened to us in 1948 when we were ethnically cleansed from our homes to become the world's largest refugee population. To this day, we haven't been able to return to our homes. So I know how much it means for this olive tree to have a home right here. Olive trees symbolize our connection to our land and our roots in our land that have not been stamped away by Israeli military aggression, occupation, settler colonialism, and apartheid. 68 years on, the Israeli state has not been able to erase my people. As a matter of fact, 68 years on, my people in Palestine and every Palestinian in exile continues to teach life and continues to be rooted in Palestine. Most of you will know of the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. This was a call that came from Palestine, signed by Palestinian civil society, and it's quite simple. All we are asking for is justice, freedom, and equality. An end to the occupation, equality for Palestinian citizens of Israel, and for me, most importantly, a right for Palestinian refugees to return to our homes from which we were ethnically cleansed. These are simple demands all rooted in international law, and we have a right to all of them. It's inspiring and incredible that the word boycott was coined in this country. The Irish people have always shown solidarity to oppressed communities around the world. We Palestinians don't just teach life, we also learn from others. And from the Irish people, we have learned your resilience, we have learned your strength, and we have learned that boycott is a very, very strong tool that we are going to use. And just as the Dunn strikers here helped, in a small way, be a leading light to end apartheid in South Africa, <laughs> we hope that you will do the same and you will engage in the boycotts, divestment, and sanctions movement, and that your beautiful city of Dublin will be apartheid free. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> لما سمعنا تمطر وتحل البركة يا سجرة الدار اكبري فينا 
ويا حلو مهما صار حني علينا حني علينا حني